drag from the top, right? We get the stains, and then you're just going to pull it down, and it'll go away. And uh, obviously this is a blue desktop here, so how how, how can users well, change that? Well, oh, yes, absolutely. So, so it's different to the developer. Yeah, we know, that, we know that people care about, particularly as they, they see Windows 8 as a great expression of themselves, so we want to make sure that we give them a way to uh, change uh, everything that they, they feel super important. So here's an easy way for me to come in, change both the color, and this is reflected throughout the system. Okay. Is there any other changes that you're demonstrating today? Uh, yes, well, we've got... Uh, from the developer preview. From the developer preview? Yeah. Uh, we have a, a lot of uh, mouse work. Okay. Uh, uh, we have, we've been uh, paying careful attention to how Windows 8 needs to feel efficient and powerful uh, when you're using it on a, a laptop. Okay. And so we've built in uh, a lot of ways to do things efficiently and fast and fluid with, with the kind of input that comes with laptops with the mouse and the keyboard. Okay, can you, could you show me a couple of those? Sure. So right away, you can see the difference between uh, uh, in, in logging in with a touch and logging in with a keyboard. I want to use my keyboard, so it's as fast as, as doing that. You can see that scrolling through the start menu, when we do with a finger, you would expect it to work one way. But of course, with the mouse, you want to see things, you know, the simple the, con, the, the, tab, the scroll bar. You want to be able to use your mouse wheel to easily just go back and forth. And you want to be able, I can just push on the side of the screen, and you can see how easy that moves back and forth. So that feels right for the kind of input and the precision that a mouse is. In the same way, we want to expose the power of using your mouse and keyboard together. So the control, scroll wheel, it finds a quick way to see it. Now I can see my entire start menu, start screen, and I can easily get from one end to the other. And that's not in the developer preview at the moment, is it? Uh, I do not believe so. Thank you.